lie that fell down. It can't handle the truth. <laughs> it can't. It can't handle it. Hey, light bulb boy, I'm 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 not done stepping in your chest. I'm not done. You wanna attack me to try to make me something I'm not. This is the reality's temple on earth. And I am flexible. I am ever changing. I call a spade a spade. What you call demonizing Caucasian people is simply telling the truth. If you did not participate in slavery, then why are you upset? If you do not benefit from the wealth and this society that was built on Caucasian supremacy, then why are you upset? There's no need to be upset. I'm not like your forefathers who are unjust, deceivers and liars, murderers. I don't advocate no black man to go out and kill white folks. If they do, don't blame me. Well, <laughs> well, your words incite my words right now and my words in any of my videos don't excite that because I don't teach that. I don't market that type of talk or ideology. Because for us to run around and talking about killing white people, what benefit would it be? The ones, the Caucasians that needed to be murdered are dead. Well, some exist now. And that's why I tell us, and I will suggest to us, we have the right to self-defense. If any Caucasian person, hell, if any black person come to us and want to try to hurt us, you have the right to self-defense. You want to try to say that I got something to do with somebody rating your videos low. You got so much to say. I got so much truth. I'm running from you. You wacko. You dingbat. I don't run from nobody. In fact, I was trying to have civil comments with you. And what you do, you are the runner. Because I make a point, and you'll try to run some damn well, deal with the point. But you can't. Then you'll run off somewhere. Somewhere else. I got tired of chasing you. Because eventually, I will run you down. Eventually, you will bow down to reality. You're living in a fictional world. You want to blame the victim for things that your forefathers created. And you know it. But you loyal to them. And you want to blame the victim for what the perpetrator done. You want to compare me to a pedophile and, and to Adolf Hitler. Because you want black people, you want somebody to be like your forefathers. You don't want them to take all this with everybody evil. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Black people have committed crimes. Black people are not the nicest people in the world today or prior to European influence. But nobody has committed atrocities and wickedness and caused all this chaos since the European Caucasian people come into power. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from their history books. And I am a victim of this. Because again, if it was not for their evil activity, I would not exist. Because they brought my forefathers on slave ships, of which my people, over a over hundred million, was estimated to die in the Middle Passage, in the ocean, even before they got to America. And then once we got to America, they beat us. They raped us. They made us work from sun up to sun down. And then here you are. You think black people ain't supposed to be upset. You should 
Oh, man, if it was anybody else, you would be catching hell. But black people don't have that type of heart. We have a loving heart. And I get upset with black people because if we got loving heart for those who have, who have mistreated us for not 30 days, not for 30 months, but for 300 years, we can forgive them. It's in the past. And let me remind us about this. You always talk about, that was a long time ago. The last slave on record died in 1949. The last child of a slave on record died in 2001. So how the hell was that a long time ago? And that, and then, that's not to uh, include. And y'all always act like you don't include. What about the brothers and sisters that was bit by dogs? What about the brothers and sisters that was lynched? The brothers and sisters, Brother Emmett Till, who had his head busted open with a concrete block and thrown in a river. That was not a long time ago. That was 1955. What about all the time? What about me? What about me? They put me in a damn mental institution. These white Caucasian doctors and prosecutors that put me in a mental institution because I was poor and black. That ain't 400 years ago. And I know they did it because I was black and poor. I don't want to hear that. They still do it today. You want to debate me, you say. I have a radio blog talk show. Bring your ass on live, baby. Bring your ass on live, baby. You still don't have to show your coward face. Silly little punk. Then you're going to tell me about your education. The reason why I didn't want to deal with you and don't want to hear you because you're bringing me about your education. You don't sound like you educated. It don't sound like you studied any history and you damn sure don't know nothing about me. I have over 400 videos, probably 500 videos talking about me. You don't know nothing about me. I'm a race hater. I spread bigotry. Well, you need to talk to the Caucasian people that have subscribed to this page and tell them. I have not brainwashed them. We're here to talk the truth. If you done it, you done it. If I was a black supremacist, I ain't got no shame. I tell you, caveman looking raggedy, porky man. No need for calling names. You don't tell me what to do. You don't disrespect me and try to call me something I'm not. You didn't like the way I called you caveman pork eater. You don't like that, do you? Because you don't live in no cave no more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do eat pork. You sound like a pork eater. Somebody rate your videos low. I know you rated my videos low because I've seen it on your page with my own eyes. You're trying to make it like somebody running from you. I don't run from nobody. I'm glad to beef with you. And I want to say to my brothers and sisters in black power, if you want to debate with somebody, if you want to go off on somebody, go off on somebody that don't share the, your same common goal. This bum don't share my goal. This bum, in fact, is trying to help white people people to uh, 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 deny what their forefathers done. So he's definitely not on my page. Bring your ass on. Bring your ass on. That's what I can say to you. They wrote the history. I didn't. If you don't like what's being said, it's about the truth. I don't like black people that do wrong. Because it's black people that come into the black community and exploit us, and then they go live in the suburbs. It's about justice. It's about being fair. I don't give a damn what your color is. In fact, I think this race mess is a bunch of crap. But your forefathers, the Caucasian people, created it and conditioned the whole world. Everybody has been affected by uh, Caucasian supremacy. So if you really want to fight something, you should fight that which caused black supremacy, that which caused some kind of Asian supremacy or whatever, because it's all rooted and it all comes from
Caucasian supremacy. That's an evil that we need to get rid of once and for all. And all of us will be living more happy. But until then, if you really want to debate me, send me an email. And let's set up the date. And let uh, the listening public watch you get smashed. Because you can't handle this. Just like real truth, you can't handle it. You can't handle me. Ain't nobody running from your uneducated child infantile ass. Time has run out. Thank you for listening. Hopefully we have this debate on Blog Talk Radio. I'm looking forward to it. This was and is <laughs> the reality is temporary. Y'all have a nice day.